decided to retire? Well, I have been in this role nearly 10 years, um, and I came in at a time when my community was going through some difficult times. Um, now I think our community is in a place where they need someone with fresh eyes and fresh energy um, to take them to the next place. And for myself, I'm wanting to pursue other interests while I've still got plenty of gas in the tank. Why? Do you have any regrets? No, I think uh, it's an extraordinary privilege to have this job. It's been an amazing privilege to be a part of the Prime Minister's team and Cabinet too. Um, and I think for me, every day I come across the forecourt, I know that um, the, the work that we do here is really important. So, no, I, ha I have no regrets except for the fact that I don't spend enough time at home. The last three years have been particularly tough for you though, haven't they? It's, um, you come into this role not expecting it to be easy, you expect it to be hard and you want it to be, uh, you want to give it all your best and that's what I've done. Was this entirely your decision? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, so anybody who knows me knows that I came into this knowing that I would give it about 10 years because I wanted to make sure that I had plenty of opportunity to do other things with the uh, rest of my career. Is it because maybe it's a sinking ship? I would, you know, uh, I have to really push back on that. We are in for a fight next year, but it's a fight that we can win. And I'm here right until the very end to make sure that I, I throw my efforts behind our Prime Minister and our government to come back for another term. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.